Good morning, my beautiful people. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, forgive the appearance. Between um, going through and rearranging my pantry and, um, yeah, that was a lot of work. I'm still not completely done. Um, and I was doing uh, an exercise for our women's Bible study tomorrow, which, of course, that got all emotional, so yeah. And then just taking notes as far as what I wanted to say today on this short video. A um, little overwhelming, a little bit. <laughs> um, like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's still prepping. Um, because something is coming. Um, sorry, my neighbor. Um, something is coming and it's big and it's an uneasy, eerie feeling that I'm getting and I'm not the only one that's getting it. Um, I'm sitting here and I'm getting goosebumps and, and it's not a good goosebump thing. Um... I've spoken to several people as well as watching other people's videos. I was watching um, Travis, was it yesterday? I want to say it was yesterday. I was trying to play catch up with some videos yesterday. Um, so I watched a few of Travis and um, Patera and Pinball. And when I get a minute, I'm going to um, watch Jason, Angry Prepper. Um, I think he, no, yesterday was the midweek morning thing. Anyway, I have to catch up on him today, um, as well as a couple other prepper dog, and, and I, I'm playing catch up with Hidden Prepper. Girlfriend, I still have more, but I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Um, but yeah, so many people have said they just, they're prepping like there's no tomorrow, because... It's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's, it's big. It's crazy feeling. Um, I was talking to Alan. Hi, Alan. Um, I was talking to Alan yesterday through text. We, we do call and talk, but a, a lot of times we'll text each other. And, um, he was like, my heart's been pounding and I'm not having a heart attack. And I'm like, dude. And I'm like, I've been taking my meds faithfully. Y'all know I have heart failure. But I've been taking my meds faithfully the way I'm supposed to. And there are times my chest still hurts. And it has nothing to do with my heart. Trust me, I know. It's, it's not my heart. It's this eerie, creepy thing that's going on. And I'm going to tell you something. Evil has been going bonkers for the last month, causing uneasiness, uh, disruption in households, arguments for stupid reasons, and, and all kinds of chaos. I want you to comment down below if you, if you agree with what I'm saying, or even if you don't agree, still comment. I like to hear other people's opinions and advice. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, we've been seriously stocking up. Um, we just finished getting, getting my truck worked on. We did pretty much the works like as far as, uh, you know, oil change, tuna, brakes, alignment, um, making sure everything's in working order. I'm still good on my tires because... We don't travel that often, especially the last couple of years. But when we do, I mean, it's usually no farther than maybe three hours away from the house at the most. And that's been maybe a couple times in a year. So I still have a good two years left on my tires. But chances are, if nothing has happened by then, by next year, right when I think I have about a year left on my tires, I'm gonna go ahead and buy another set. I probably should go ahead and do those now, but we'll see how finances are. That's, that comes into play, doesn't it? Finances. Um, 
we're actually getting a uh, hubby's car looked at next. Um, not this week, but next week. Um, yeah, because it's Thursday. Duh. I keep forgetting it's near the end of the week. But, um, yeah, thing, things are crazy. Um, I don't know about in your area, but in our area in Memphis, at least the stores I go to, Kroger, um, even down to Dollar Tree and, and everything, they are rearranging the stores to make them look like they're full when they're really not. There's actually much less product. Um, just for an example, um, you know how Kroger, if you if you have if you're familiar with Kroger, Kroger always sends you coupons. Well, for the last four months, they've been sending me coupons for their bagels, their plain bagel, plain or flavor bagels. It doesn't matter. Um, I have yet to see Kroger brand bagels. I see Thomas's and I'm not paying five or six dollars for them. But um, yeah, you're sending me coupons for stuff that I can't buy because none of the Kroger's that I go to and there's about five or six of them that I frequent. None of them have Kroger brand bagels. So yeah. Anyway, um, dry beans I noticed are the cheapest ones I saw day before yesterday was $1.79. Everything else is like $2 or more as far as just dry beans. Rice, we're not even going to go there. Um, and that was just for a one pound bag, by the way. And that was the $1.79. I want to say it was on sale because, yeah, it was one of those yellow stickers. Um, meat, of course, is getting higher by the day. You already know this. Um, bread is looking more scarce, like I just said, just the idea of bagels. Um, the price is also much higher because the wheat bread we normally got used to be like $1.99. Now it's like $2.99. In fact, I've seen it at $3.59 and I guess no one bought it at that price. So they took it back down to $2.99. Um, yeah. Um, canned vegetables where you used to be able to get a can of vegetables. And I mean, the, you know, the regular size, nice, nice size. Um, used to be able to get for 59 or 75 cents. Yeah, cheapest one I saw was 89 dollars, 89 cents, 89 dollars. Yeah. So one day it may get to that, God forbid. Um but yeah, cheapest can of vegetables was 89 cents. Kroger brand coffee is running neck and neck with Maxwell House and Folgers now. It used to be you could get you know, the same size canister for like $5.99. No, it's it's $9 or more, just like the, all the others. Um, all I can say is get ready, people. If you're not listening, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, God has been so good and merciful, and the Holy Spirit has been communicating with a lot of us, believers and non-believers in my opinion. Um, and if you're not listening to the prompts of the Holy Spirit telling you to prepare or do what you can, when hard times come, then I don't know what to tell you. You can't do anything but blame yourself for it. Um, do what you can. I don't care if you go out and buy a $5 case of ramen noodles, and yes, some of them are still $5. Um, I normally buy mine on Amazon because they're even cheaper than the grocery store. And yeah, I get a case of 24 for like 6 or $7. I think they went up to 7 now. Um, there's no excuse. I mean, unless you just flat broke, you don't have any food stamps. Because guess what? Amazon takes food stamps on some things. Um, I mean, I... I don't know what to tell you. If you are being prompted by something just telling you, put some food aside, I don't care if it's a couple of cans of beans or, or a package of dry beans and a small pack of rice and some ramen noodles and some cheap bologna because deli meat is getting expensive. I ain't gonna lie about that one. Um, buy what you can instead of going out and getting that $5 cup of coffee 
that you probably don't even finish, why not take that $5 and go get you five cans of vegetables or something like that? I mean, you have to sacrifice. And if you're not willing to sacrifice, when the time comes and times get hard, don't expect anybody to sacrifice for you. That's all I'm saying. And yeah, I want to do the Christian thing and help people out. But at the same time, if all of us has been preaching the same message for years now, and you haven't been paying attention the last three years, honestly, unless you've been prepping and an earthquake opened up the earth and swallowed all your preps, don't come to me. I'm sorry. I, I love you. I care about you. But you know what? You had the same opportunities I did. I'm just saying. But anyway, in the meantime, people, obviously, please keep prepping. Uh, pray harder than ever before because this spiritual battle is definitely ramping up. You guys take care. God bless. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.